Equipping fast attack craft with anti-ship missiles dates back to the early 1950s. However, the first vessel which was delicately designed as a missile boat and commissioned was the Soviet Project 205 Musket class. This class of boats were used by many coastal countries that had close relations with the USSR during the first Cold War. Its NATO reporting name is OSA, which means WASP. It played a key role in the development of modern missile boats with the success of its design. So the boat deserves to be called a true naval legend. Now we're investigating the OSA class. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we start and give us a thumbs up if you like our video. Designated by the Soviet Navy as large missile cutters, the OSA class is the offspring of the 1950s naval warfare perspective when the Jena Coral Doctrine evolved and shined again. In those years, the naval planners of the USSR were planning to use cruisers as commerce raiders on the high seas, while they relied on small vessels for coastal defense against large naval fleets of the NATO countries. The torpedo boats that the Soviet Navy relied upon in coastal defense were equipped with torpedoes with a range of about 4,000 to 6,000 meters. However, anti-ship missiles, which reached maturity in the 1950s, had a range of 40,000 meters. So, the USSR began the construction of a missile-equipped model of the Project 183-class torpedo boats in 1956. These fast attack crafts, called Project 183R class, became the world's first missile boats. Although it was revolutionary in terms of naval combat tactics, the vessel whose NATO reporting name is Komar had serious shortcomings. Indeed, they were cheap and efficient boats, yet their endurance, sea keeping and habitability were barely sufficient. The missile boxes of the Komar class were vulnerable to damage from waves. The radar set of the wooden hulled boat did not have a fire control unit. The Kalmar class was equipped with only one twin barrel 25mm gun turret which was manually operated and had a simple optical sight. This gun was not effective against modern air threats. Therefore, the Soviet Navy decided to develop a new and bigger boat to solve all these problems. The first boat of the OSA class was laid down on July 11, 1958 and commissioned on December 29, 1960. The hull of the OSA class was made of steel, while the superstructure was made of light alloys. During the design phase, it had been planned that the boat could operate autonomously for five days. Therefore, there were two toilets on board, but they were not used because the drain pipes were too thin. The showers on board were also insufficient. The early construction models of the OSA class were equipped with three 4000 horsepower M503G diesel engines, which provided the maximum speed of 38.5 knots. In later versions, these engines were replaced with 5000 horsepower M504B diesel. Thanks to this change, the maximum speed increased to 42 knots. However, it caused a full load displacement to increase by 15 tons and draft by 1.1 meters. Two engines were placed in the forward engine room and the third engine in the aft engine room. There was a control compartment between the two engine rooms. During the first Cold War, the Soviet Navy had a doctrine based on the combined use of two missile boat brigades operating in parallel columns with each other to attack the NATO fleets. In the event of a possible war, these columns would have advanced as close to the shore or skerries using masking. In front of the column, the boats equipped with short-range missiles positioned, while the boats equipped with long-range missiles stayed at the rear. When the attack started, these brigades would have suddenly turned toward their targets and advanced at full speed. When the target is within range, salvo firing would have been made at a timing that all missiles would have reached the target zone simultaneously. 
according to Soviet naval tactics, 7 to 8 missiles should be launched against a cruiser sized ship and 4 against a destroyer sized target. This class of boats has two main production versions. The OSA 1 class had the box shaped missile launchers. The later model, the Project 205U, also known as the OSA 2, were equipped with the tube shaped missile launchers. There are also some experimental and modernized versions of the OSA class. The complement of the OSA 1 is 28 people, while the OSA 2 has a 29 person crew. These boats have a length of 38.6 meters, a beam of 7.6 meters, and a draft of 1.84 meters. The fully loaded displacement of the OSA 1 is 226 tons, while the OSA 2 has 235 tons. Three 5,000 horsepower M504B diesel engines provide a top speed of 42 knots. The boats can reach a range of 1,800 nautical miles with a speed of 14 knots and a range of 800 nautical miles at a speed of 30 knots. These vessels launch different versions of the P-15 termite missiles depending on their model. The boat has two 30mm twin-barrel AK-230 guns. The sensors and processing systems of OSA class consist of an MR-331 Rengal air surface search radar, MR-104 Aris fire control radar, Nihrum RRM and Unike IFF, ARP-58V radio direction finder and Killion fire control system. The OSA class missile boats are still on the active list of the navies of Algeria, Cuba, Egypt, Eritrea, Libya, North Korea, Syria and Vietnam. However, the situation of these vessels is uncertain in Libya because of the civil war. The Azerbaijani Navy dismantled the missiles from its OSA class boats and replaced the forward AK-230 with a manually operated 37mm gun. Besides, these crafts were once used with the flags of the navies of Angola, Benin, Bulgaria, China, Croatia, East Germany, Ethiopia, Finland, India, Iraq, Latvia, Montenegro, Poland, Romania, Russia, Somalia, the USSR and Yugoslavia. Between 1965 and 1968, China acquired seven OSA-1 class missile boats from the USSR and later copied the craft under the name Type O-21 class. Its NATO reporting name is Huangfang. This model is equipped with HY-2 anti-ship missiles, which are the Chinese reverse-engineered copy versions of the P-15s. Also, some boats have 25mm twin-barrel guns instead of the AK-230. The Huangfang class, decommissioned by China and Pakistan, are still used in Bangladesh, North Korea and Yemen. Bangladesh replaced the HY-2s of four of these boats with the C-704s and removed the missile launchers from the remaining one. The Yemeni type O-21s have the C-801 missiles instead of the HY-2s. North Korea after purchasing OSAs from the USSR and Huangfangs from China, copied these boats, which is known as the Soju class. These vessels have a length of 42.5 meters and a fully loaded displacement of 265 tons. The Thunder class boats, used by the Iranian Revolutionary Guards, are also a modified version of the Huangfang class. The Project 205P Tarantul class with its NATO reporting name Stenka, is the anti-submarine patrol boat version of the OSA class. The main weapon of the OSA 1 class, the P-15, has a range of 40 km. The NATO reporting name of these missiles is SSN-2 Styx. In the OSA 2 class, the P-15U model is used. The range of this version, which has many improvements compared to its predecessor, is also 40 km. The P-15U can be armed with either a 375 kg shaped charge conventional or a nuclear warhead. 
The speed of these two versions is Mach 0.9. With a later modernization, some OSA-class boats gained the ability to launch the P-15M model. Thanks to changing the location of its fuel tank and types of its fuel, this version can reach a range of 80 km. Its radar is more resistant against electronic countermeasure systems than its predecessors. During the terminal phase, the P-15M can fly at the altitude of between 25 to 50 meters with a speed of Mach 1.3. The missile has 513 kg high explosive warhead. Before the launch of the P-15, the boat has to approach the target at an angle of 10 to 15 degrees, hold its course for 20 to 30 seconds and keep its speed under 15 knots. In a first salvo, two missiles can be launched and following one minute, the boat can send another two P-15s. Unlike the P-15, the HY-2 has a speed of Mach 0.8 and a range of 200 km. The C-801 used in Yemeni Huangfangs has a speed of 0.9 Mach and a range of 42 km. The AK-230 can be used against targets over 4000 meters range. The theoretical rate of fire of the gun is 2000 rounds per minute. However, after every 100 rounds of bursts, the firing must be suspended for the barrel to cool down. Associating with IJ band MR104 Aris, with its NATO reporting name Drum Tilt Fire Control Radar, the AK-230 is not supported by an electro-optical side, so it has limited effectiveness against sea skimming missiles. Double or quadrupole 9K32M Stella 2M Air defense missile systems were installed on the Cuban and Egyptian OSA-class boats. Its NATO reporting name is SAN-5 Grail. These missiles are effective against air targets at a range of 4,200 meters and an altitude of 2,300 meters. Many of its users have also mounted machine guns on their OSAs. With the modernization program, Egypt has installed three 4,000 horsepower MTU diesel engines, a Type 916 navigation radar, a DR-875 radar warning receiver, as well as a Matilda electronic jammer on its OSA-class boats. There are the PK-16 decoy launchers on the Syrian crafts. There are both successes and failures in the battle records of the OSA-class. During the Indo-Pakistani War of 1971, Besides the Pakistan Navy's destroyer PNS Haibar and minesweeper PNS Muhafiz, some Pakistani merchant ships were sunk by 13 P-15s launched from Indian OSA-class missile boats. In the same attack, one of the fuel tanks in the Karachi port was hit by these missiles. However, the OSA-class boats of the Egyptian and Syrian navies didn't achieve the same success in the 1973 Yom Kippur War. During the Battle of Latakia, the Saar 3 boats of Israeli Navy engaged with two Syrian Komar class and one Osa class missile boats. The Syrians launched the P-15s at a long range, but the missiles were successfully deceived by the electronic countermeasure systems and decoys. After that, Israeli boats closed the range and sunk one Komar and one Osa boats immediately by using the Gabriel missiles. Two days after, in the Battle of Baltam, this time three of the four Egyptian Osas were sunk by Israeli boats. During the Yom Kippur War, Arabian Osa-class boats did not claim any victories. At the early stage of Iran-Iraq War in 1980, near Al-Faw and Umm two Iraqi Osas were sunk with the Harpoon missiles fired from Iranian Combatant II-class missile boat Pekan. Also, Iranian F-4s sunk additional two Osas and damaged one in the same battle. But the Wasp also knew how to sting its enemy. During the war, it is known that the Iraqi Osas sunk at least one Iranian tanker. Also, they seriously damaged the oil depots on Harg Island in 1982. In the 1991 Gulf War, the coalition forces hit five Iraqi Osa class boats. One of these crafts, 
was sunk by a USA-6 intruder. The last OSA-class boats were commissioned in 1976. They are over the 30-year mark, which is accepted as the useful life limit for a surface combatant. Plus, their P-15 missiles and AK-230 guns are also far from meeting today's modern naval warfare requirements. Therefore, it is inevitable that we will soon watch the retirement of the last remaining OSAs. However, with their beautiful silhouettes and their mark on history, they will remain as one of the unforgettable legends in our minds and hearts. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you like our video.